Okay, so what we want to show you today is just um, the plum guard manufactured by HLP Controls. The plum guard comes in a carry case. Now we've already taken the unit out of the case. This is what the, the plum guard looks like. It's fully self-contained. Before you use it on site, you must make sure of a couple of things. First thing you need to make sure of is that it's fully charged. You don't want to get out on site and find that it's the battery's flat and it's not going to work. Second thing you need to make sure of is that it has been calibration checked. It needs to be done at least every 12 months. And there's a date on a sticker inside the unit. And that'll tell you when the calibration was last done and when it is due to be done again. So to get the plumb guard, you get an earth stake, and that goes in the middle hole, which is marked ground. So that is a typical earth stake that's five metres long. We supply the earth stake, so you pound that into the ground somewhere within a couple of metres of where you're working. Clip the earth lead onto it. What we'll do here in this test setup is we'll just um, simulate it being in the ground by leaving it there. And then you have two leads which have heavy duty clamps on them, and they plug in one left and one right side. It's the same again, just heavy duty leads. Now they're designed to go across the area that you're working. So the lead lengths are from 1.5 metres up to 10 metres each. So you can span quite a large pipe if you're digging a big hole, or if you're just doing a metre replacement, you can span a metre quite easily. When you first start the plumb guard, you need to turn it on. It'll do a self check, and it will then beep every 10 seconds to let you know that the self check's complete and the unit is still running. So you can be confident that it hasn't, the battery hasn't gone flat, the unit stopped working. Before you use it on a site, you need to connect all the leads together. So all leads connected together, and there's a test button. You need to push and hold the test button. Now the unit will do a self-check, and all three LEDs will flash. Now that means that all the leads are working. It passes a current through every part of those leads and checks that every lead has continuity. For instance, if we disconnect one of those leads, simulate a fault, we push and hold the test button. I'll show you this. We do not get the lead on that side flashing. So you can only have two flashing now. So we have the big one. And we have a smaller one. On the other side, there's no LED flashing above the lead. So that means that that lead is broken or ineffective and not working and needs to be checked. So, very important you do that self-check. Again, all leads connected together. Hold the button. All three LEDs flashing orange. Now we're ready to use that plumb guard. So if we're going to do a meter disconnection, Again, a lead either side of where we're going to disconnect. The ground lead is securely into the ground. I can hear this beeping, so it's still working. So it's a good confidence thing. We call it the heartbeat, so that you know that it's... The, when you, if you don't hear that, investigate it. The battery might have gone flat, whatever. So now, while the plumb guard is monitoring that job, if any dangerous voltages came onto that side, even if it was from intermittent fault somewhere in a house, wherever, the plumb guard will alarm and tell you that that's what has happened. Now, I'm going to simulate that. I just have a, um, a small battery here. So I've just put a simulated a fault on the plumb guard. The alarm will go off. And it also, the other small LED will tell me on which side of the connection the fault is. If both lights are going on, then the whole area is alive. So you need to be aware of that. Now, the plumb guard won't stop until we turn it off. So it will remain in alarm until we turn it off. So that's a good safety thing. If, you, if you're working on a site, you move away for a minute, you come back and this thing's flashing, don't go near the site, report it and treat it as live. 
So that's how we use the plumb guide. That's how it is used on site. That involves that gives you the idea of of what the startup sequence is. So you need to test it before every job, and the testing, the putting on the site, and the turning on of the unit should take less than a minute. So there's not a lot of time involved. 